Okay, so uh, I guess we can start now, all right? Yeah, um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, this game on, yeah, this game on white. And uh, uh, so obviously before this game, I have already lost to this Zen 7 quite some games already. And I have some experience against him. So uh, as you can see, as a start, I, I have chosen a very special Fuseki. So basically this game, my plan is to actually have a, a very territorial way to play in general. Yeah, so as I start, I, I play the double sensor. Yeah, and uh, yeah, then has chosen the Chinese Fuseki as start. And uh, so here, obviously, I take I just take the third corner. And uh, okay, so here we come to this situation, and uh, uh, I should tell that I'm not sure how, uh, if many of you have used uh, yeah Zen Seven. May I ask uh, who have uh, so far used the Zen Seven here? Any? Have any of you used the Zen Seven? So nobody. Ah, uh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. I yeah, okay. I guess the yeah, then that, that's pretty normal because uh, yeah, Zen Seven is not is not like Lila. Lila is free and Zen Seven is some um, is. Uh, Let's say you have to pay to yeah in order to get it. So I guess uh, probably many of you do not really have it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Zen seven. Uh, it's just, yeah. I, I guess you can actually read on the information there. This is Zen. Uh, Zen is go neither. But actually, this didn't really tell yeah tell you much. Yeah. So here, normally at Zen seven, you supposed to actually uh, when you choose, you supposed to actually choose two. Yeah, you you need to choose two criteria. One is is rank. So here, nine is is highest. I think the lowest is probably something like six Q. Yeah, that is uh, yeah. What you can choose, but that's only one. The other one is actually uh, at least as important. That is uh, let's say the time limit. So uh, yeah, let's say the the lowest you can get you can give to the board is five seconds, and the highest is one hundred twenty seconds. This game, because I have lost to him quite a few times already in the past, so this is well, yeah one of those games I have played against him, and uh, his time limit is thirty seconds. So basically, uh, then need to play uh, his every single move inside thirty seconds. Okay, yeah. So this is what I want to introduce. So although you can see this is then uh, then is go neither is actually still not is the strongest mode. And uh, after this game, because this game I I happen to win, so after the, this game, so uh, after this game, I started training with his strongest mode, that is uh, Nidan, and every single move he play, we uh, inside two minutes. And after that, I didn't win a single game yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. I just want to introduce this, and now we come to this situation, and uh, in the game here, uh, yeah, in this game, them played this turn, yeah, in in this corner. I I can tell you that I have tried this Fuseki a few a few more times after later after I played at the, you know his one move in inside, uh, inside 120 seconds. When that happens, uh, only a, let's say only a couple of games he still played this turn. Most of the cases here he chose two Tanuki. So uh, um, yeah, so he can actually leave the honey as another option in the future. And this actually can affect the, uh, let's say, the future, any conflict on the red side a lot. Okay, yeah, just want to introduce this, and now we can move on. Yeah, so now he approached, and this is another interesting thing I, I, I'd, I'd like to introduce. Uh, I have played against them so many times already, and uh, in many of the many games at the start, I, I chose the Sen Sen uh, Fuseki, and uh, uh, I noticed, uh, yeah, let's say in his, yeah, let's say when he do, uh, when he fight against the Sun Sun, he normally play either this approach or this approach. It's never too close to it. And uh, I have never seen him play shoulder. And as answer, yeah, in this game here, you can see, I answered with Kema. And uh, as uh, his uh, opinion, the answer is supposed to be either this one or the one space jump. It's never, let's say, Ogema or two or two space extension. 
and it's mainly for when I played, yeah, because I have also tried to play, for example, two space extension. It to be in two space extension, you are gonna give the opponent too many forcey moves, let's say around that, yeah, your two space extension stone. And that means black center is a lot stronger, that is harmful for the fighting. Yeah, so normally, let's say, yes, it is like here approach here, and you are gonna answer as why, well, yeah, the only the one space, no matter if it's jump or game. Okay, and then black played this extension. And uh, now we can see that black has uh, a relatively big moyo at the bottom right corner. And uh, I believe many of you have, uh, yeah, probably you have never played against them, but you, you are probably kind of uh, familiar about some AlphaGo games, are you? Some AlphaGo games, like, for example, AlphaGo Master. Okay, so yeah, you, you have you have watched it. If you have watched it, then I I, I hope the following yeah in the following few moves, my moves will not gonna surprise you too much because basically that's not my move. That is basically I call from AlphaGo. So I play the low approach because I have the ladder. So here, yeah, black play the bomb, white Kema, black army triangle, and white attack here. Uh, if you have if you have seen some AlphaGo game, I guess this yeah this uh, approach came an attachment. This is something you are familiar with. Are you? Have you seen this before? Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, yeah. If you do not remember, I can actually remind. This is uh, uh, you can find uh, yeah those moves from. Uh, uh, AlphaGo Masters uh, games against the Chinese uh, professional Chen Yaoye. Yeah, this has happened in that game. Yeah, so here, yeah, this, this, this is basically AlphaGo move. And the next move here, since White just played the attachment, and White, yeah, White play here is not like, okay, White want to save everything. White intention is pretty clear. White want to keep Black low on the red side. Black can have the red side territory, but it's low and it's on the, only on the third line. Then, okay, basically it will be come to a relatively close game structure because white has three corners. Yeah, so that is my intention. But normally we say when facing to attachment, when facing to attachment, the strongest reaction is to honey. So in the game, of course, it's honey. And uh, yeah, I have told you that here my intention is to limit him only on the side. So in this game, I play double honey. Yeah. Okay. And uh, okay, now we uh, we are we are gradually coming to one of the yeah, important important area of this game. And uh, uh, now I want to actually tell about yeah about this lecture or let's say about this game. There are two main things I actually want to emphasize. And the first thing I want to tell is about reading. Yeah, that's the first thing. And uh, if I may ask you, normally in your games, let's say as your habit, how far you normally read when it comes to a situation that it is needed to read? How far? Five to ten. Huh. Okay, that's pretty good. Anyone else? Three to four, okay. Yeah, I just want to hear about, yeah, how much do you, yeah, usually read, honestly. Ah, okay. But not all the variations, okay. Okay, yeah, I already get, yeah, let's say some answers. Yeah, um, yeah, this, yeah, let's, Ah, okay, but it, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you know, once you try to read, that is awesome. The worst thing actually as a goal player will be, yeah, okay, I know the, how to read. I have the ability to read, but I don't bother. That is the worst. Because you, if you want to be a better player, you have to do it. This, let's say, to goal player, this is what we call the necessary work. Yeah, and you may not really, really read well. You may say, I misread often. It doesn't matter. Please keep, please keep doing it. One day you'll be a good reader. Okay, I'm talking about this. It's mainly a few days ago. Yeah, I had a talk with my mother in Beijing, 
And uh, we happen to talk about my studies, yeah, in go school. Yeah, let's say back to 20 years ago when I was a kid. Yeah, actually over 20 years ago. And my mom has actually reminded me that my teacher, uh, that was a Chinese system professional, and he has actually treated us very strictly. And uh, about reading, yeah, here I want to quote from my teacher. My teacher said, in your training games, you're supposed to always read when it comes to the part that is necessary to read for over 10 moves. For over 10 moves. And if you cannot read that much, well, don't, don't show that game to me. I'm not going to review that game for you. Read over 10 or do not show it to me. That's what, I, what, what my teacher has told me. And this, that is actually how my teacher has actually, let's say, asked me and my classmates. We all need, we all need to, do, the, to do, do like this and we all need to suit that criteria. And uh, uh, I wouldn't say my reading is uh, less the best, but I think my reading is uh, in general good. I, I, let's say, compared to my similar stress opponents here in Europe, I need to thank to my teacher uh, who has treated me very strictly back then. And if you want to be a good player, I hope you are going to try. Maybe you'll, you'll, you'll say, that's too difficult, I can't. But I want you to try to read that to read that criteria. Okay, so soon I'm here talking about reading because soon we're going to come to a reading situation. Okay, I have mentioned earlier that in this game, I'm playing against the distance and he played, uh, he need to play 30 second move. So in this game, he played this turn. And uh, this is actually considered as well of his mistakes afterwards because I actually, uh, uh, I used to, because uh, himself, I can actually analyze the game. And uh, when he actually analyzed this game himself, when I give him enough time, uh, he almost has never chosen this move again. Or let's say when I, when I play against his 120 seconds per move mode, uh, he never has chosen this move again. Yeah, so this one is actually a mistake. But okay, let's say even if it's a, even if it's a mistake, it is still inside his top five choices. So uh, it's not, yeah, it's not a vital one still. Okay, so here, let's say I still continue my intention. I want to limit black on the right side, low. So in the game, I play Nobby. And uh, now we come to the reading part. Of course, here, black Nobby. Uh, okay, because here, white want to keep black at low. So here, if there's any possibility, we all want to play white this push. And uh, this is what I did in the game. But I want to tell you that here, for this move, I have read for over five minutes. And thanks to, let's say, uh, the uh, time setting in, yeah, in my game against them, because I know that Zen is far stronger. So basically, Zen needs to play his every single move uh, inside 30 seconds, and I don't have time limit. <laughs> you may say it's very unfair, but yeah, he's far stronger. Yeah. Okay, so this move I have read for five or over five minutes and I played it. And I know that my reading is right. Can anyone guess here what am I reading about? Just a guess, please. The cut. Okay, that's correct. But the cut itself is not so difficult to read because the cut, does it work or not? We only need to, need to see, does black have the letter, right? Yeah, as you can see, yeah, if black cut here, does black have the letter? I'm sorry? Not at the moment? Because, okay, so here I will show probably, we are talking about this cut. Does black have the letter? Black does have the letter, right? But the thing is, if I only want to read, okay, here, if he have the letter, I don't need five minutes to read. And also here, if my conclusion is, this card works to black, I do not have the letter, then 
I dare not play this push, right? So I read more than that. Uh, oh, 08. Well, yeah, I guess you can see if 08 works or not if you read a little bit. That's not anything difficult, I guess. Oh, it doesn't work, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, but yeah, let's come back to this topic. So here, if I just say, and my reading is about that, this can't work. Well, I just need to check letter. Actually here, a glance, yeah, we can get it. What well, doesn't have the letter? Then it doesn't take me five minutes. Probably five seconds enough. You just need a glance, okay? I don't have a letter. So, I cost five minutes. I have read far more than that. Okay, I will show. Yeah, I will probably show, yeah, show you a little bit. So basically here, if here, only this card work, but if, yeah, in the game, this is what I did. White honey here, and the white can actually go down to the right side. Or, yeah, let's say white can go down to the right side. Okay, I, I will take this as, as the first step. Then white, let's say black top right corner, there are five stones will be separated and it will be under attack. Then I would say that's, a, that's actually a result acceptable. Yeah, the thing is here, however, you can see white after the cut, white two stones in the center, or oh, it's also in charge of liberty. And the black strongest move at this moment is cut again. Uh, I know I feel like this is a scary situation. <laughs> Does this situation look scary to you? Very scary, right? Mm. Yeah, okay. But here, okay, white has no choice. White has to go down. Uh, this is what happened in the game, but I also want to tell you, this is a variation I read in my mind. And then I block here. And the black, this is his best move locally. And the next move, I didn't play on the three stones. I played this Atari. Okay, this is an important part here. So here, let's say earlier from the honey, black cut is the strongest move. And I go down all the way here. That's a must. Question is, when I Atari here, there black run it. Well, you may say, you have mentioned that black has a letter. So why black dare not run it? And this is actually what he did in the game. But once again, I, yeah, when I put this game back to them to analyze, afterwards, when I give him a lot more time here to read, he actually feel regret about that move. And if you ask him to choose another move instead, with enough time, he would have chosen this novel. So just let me, let me capture that stone, and he captured the red side, uh, yeah, three stones as a trade. Yeah, and if like this, I think white can also be happy. Although red side three stones is a payment, but after all, white has captured that cutting stone and white, yeah, this whole group gets stronger. If like this, I think white can still be happy. But for black, black actually have no choice. And in the game, yeah, black right, black right here. And white not be here is silly. Because if black play, for example, this game, then what net? I, okay, uh, I'm not sure. Can you see like this? Black two stones is already captured. Yeah, because I noticed most of our, um, most of our, uh, our audience today here is, yeah, you are Q players and, uh, so, okay, so you can see those, uh, yeah, those, those stones are captured. Okay, so this requires a bit reading. So it is actually black strongest resistance is cut here. What run? And black push. Here you need to see this this squeeze. Atari. And there is a ladder towards the top left. Yeah, so like this, black is captured. Therefore, here, black dare not play the yeah, play play this game. Huh? Black need to turn here. And the black turn here, he is also at the same time threatening if white doesn't do anything. 
Here we're gonna sorry. Here we're gonna attach it from here, and this is a letter to capture white center center stones. So as an emergency matter, white needs to attach from here. Yeah, they said it. Black run, and white jump down. And here, uh, I can show a few moves that was happening in the game. But let let's say I can tell a conclusion. This moment, this is a liberty race in which white wins by one liberty. And this is something I read at this moment. Okay, now I believe you. I I believe you understand why earlier. I have emphasized to you about what my teacher has uh, has asked me and my other classmates. Yeah, what do we need to do in reading? Yeah, this is necessary. And in order to get, let's say, not let's not say to beat them. If you want to have any chance against them, without this reading, you can't possibly make it. Okay, that's why I emphasize about reading. And I know that, yeah, let's say most of you is still Q player, but please remember, in reading, do not compromise with yourself. Treat yourself strictly. The stricter you treat yourself, the stronger player you will be. And you, you may say, I set a very high bar. That is, you need to read for more than 10 moves. You just take that as a goal, but do your best. And if one day you can really reach it, you will see where you are at. Then that is probably the day. I'm gonna play against you in an even game. <laughs> All right, okay, let's come back here. Yeah, so let's say because he's the bot. Yeah, so that is a bot. And uh, especially with 30 seconds uh, limit, he, did, he didn't actually see things absolutely clearly yet. So in the game, he still take liberty. But go down, take, take liberty, he go down. Only when I honey, he noticed, okay, here, I really cannot block. If I block there, what, well, just a throw in at, at, at R10, then I'm all dead. Yeah, only at this moment, he, he noticed he's dead. So here, he played the entire outside, what well, connect, locally is over. Okay, so this is the first part. And this is, of course, a wide, huge success. Because on the right side, initially, it is in general black domain, and what well, just, uh, have one stone there, one single stone there to attach on above of the Chinese Fuseki, that stone. I see now if you remember. And here it come to black is dead, and it, it become white territory. So of course this is a white huge success. And at this moment, uh, after the game, when I look at the statistics, uh, they already put my winning rate at over 70%. So basically, this is a wide, uh, this is already again what is in a big lead. Okay, so this is the first battle. Oh, but okay, here I want to tell you something more. And this is basically the second part of the lecture I want to talk about. That is uh, how you're supposed to, how you're supposed to think and play when you are in a big lead. Yeah. Anyone? Okay, here I want to ask a question again. Anyone may tell me, normally you'll say, I'm living by a lot. How are you going to play after? Defensively, okay. Another one, please. Anyone else? When you are in a big lead, how are you going to play? How are you going to think in your game? Or how you you normally do, not necessarily what yeah, what is right. Ah, okay. I get it. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I got two answers. That is already pretty good. Okay. Um ah, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, okay, so uh uh I have already I've told you I have played against Zen uh, many times already. Uh, let's say, uh, this is one of the biggest lead I get against him, but not necessarily the biggest. I, I think I had a bigger lead in one other game, one another game, but that game, I think I, I lost. And, uh, why I lost? Because I thought, okay, I was excited, actually, in that game, 
I was excited because I got a big lead and I thought, okay, this game, I, I got a good chance to win. And then, uh, just as one of you have mentioned, in the following game, I played defensively. And uh, okay, after that game, after I lost, I checked the statistics. I just uh, see gradually, then was, yeah, his winning rate was from 28%, gradually up to 30, 33, 35 and just uh, go up slowly until the very end until almost 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 the very, the very end let's say he, he overtook me and uh, that game i lost by one and a half I, yeah in my mind i lost by one and a half in the end yeah so okay i think i like one of your answer as always but taking less risks so please remember no matter how big your leading is, please behave normal, just as if I'm not leading. It's only if you are facing two choices, and to you, the, those choices, for example, one is obviously better than the other, or one is obviously stronger than the other, and both works. If so, you're supposed to be away from risks. But if you say, if I'm yeah, if I'm gonna choose a variation, that okay, I can avoid risk. But that is clearly I'm giving in and I will lose something. But if I face to the face to the complication, if I face to the complication, it will be complicated. But I think it works. I can manage that. Then you then you have to face to the risk. No choice. I hope that's clear. Yeah, please remember that is the way to play when you are in, in lead and even you are in a big lead. This is basically what I did in the following game. Okay, just to prevent, let's say, the other game that I just played defensively and lost little by little. And so let, let, let the ball yeah, turn, turn the game around. Okay, I will show you the following game. So here, Black started challenging. So uh, black started the challenging. Black is aiming at uh, b5, so to attack by corner. So here, this move is not defensively. This move is necessary. And then I jump out, so to prevent the, the enclosure. And also here, this move is big for at the bottom. We can see there's g3 attachment. Then white can cap capture that f3 stone. And black, yeah, black play the extension. And then, yeah, let's say starting from here, yeah. This move, I'm getting out of there to prevent black enclosure, and also I'm aiming at attacking black centers, uh, center group. So black connect, yeah, here, and this jump is shape. And also, yeah, let's say still, yeah, white is threatening to separate black center group and attack it. Yeah, and in the game, black attack here, I think my this move is slightly slow. Yeah, let's say to be accurate, it should be honey and fight for seven. Okay, yeah, but yeah, this one is slightly slow. And uh, black jump. Yeah, so this jump is uh, is is defending against that G three attachment. Okay, and uh, yeah, see, so here, white jump still is a threat black that center group. And I want to force it, force it to connect in dummy with the bottom group. At the same time, also it releases the pressure of white, those four stones there in the center, because those four stones, uh, after all, it only has four liberties there, and the black on the red side has two liberties. So potentially you might be under pressure or you need to take the take the stones there. And then that means black has some potential in the center. So this move is big. Okay. And of course, black wouldn't answer me because black is already behind. So he he, he does a tanuki and take a big spot. Okay, and here once again, so just uh, uh, answer one space. And uh, this is uh, his yeah. So this is the last area that he can make, make some challenge. So in the game here, yeah, he played this attachment. And in the game, he double honey. Uh, as you can see that here in the corner. Why the time anytime play at S16 to them? And this area itself is relatively small compared to the relatively empty top side, right? 
So in the game, yeah, let's say white artery here and connect. So first to make the shape strong, and second, let's say I'm aiming at getting the top side as potential. When black card here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we can go to the corner to land. Yeah. And uh, here, yeah, let's say, uh, I have to say, yeah, Zhe is actually pretty good. He can always find something out. So here he plays the evasion. And uh, yeah, I have told you that, yeah, let's say, uh, we supposed to still behave normal. So here, black played on one single stone in the area where it's, let's say, the majority is white stones. So white needs to separate and attack it. Yeah, so here, I, I block here, and he gets a two-space extension. But white corner is not very much under pressure, right? Yeah, so in the game, that is not much, very much under pressure. This Atari, this is my Sunny, so I played it. And uh, I need to be honest here that I never expected in this game, yeah, in the game, Black play this turn and give up his top side three stone. And this has uh, proven to be his, uh, let's say, his desperate move. So here, of course, that just uh, capture the three stone on the top. Yeah, I got connection and that, yeah, it is big as territory. And here it come to actually his last try. So here, Black peep. And if I just simply answer, I'm fine. But then his two his two space extension on the top side, we're gonna easily get a connection. So in the game, I push out. And the black push. And here, Atari, peep. And here he connect. So finally, he find me a target that, okay, so here, finally white has a group that is not alive yet. So I can't attack. So he finally get a target. But I guess you can see what is not very much in danger, right? Yeah, so at this moment, what attach to get out. And still black, the, yeah, black is also getting out because he's also weak. So in the game, what the peep here, yeah, is to emphasize here. Yeah, for now, what just jump off. But in the future, anytime when what get, uh, get J16, it's not alive. So this is threatening. And so in the game, black just the tiger back here to live. Yeah, I guess, yeah, the, if this is, uh, again, I play against another human, I will very likely here just the tiger, take care of my group, and then I just uh, take my lead to the end. And uh, yeah, especially if I look at it now, this is probably the yeah the right thing I should have done. Yeah, it's just uh, however I had my uh, experience against the thing in the past, and so I'm afraid if I just defend, I'm gonna lose it. So in the game, I just kept let's say my let kept my uh, my logic on. I'm gonna threat and attack his his center group. So I separate here and I, and I attack his center. Yeah, this I, this is actually proven to be actually a uh, relatively uh, relatively ri risky way here, because yeah, if White has played that tiger, actually there's there's no way Black has enough territory to compete. Okay, and uh, so here, yeah, Black, yeah, because Black top side is already alive, so Black honey here and uh, to take away White eyes. And um, yeah, here, white really cannot play those kind of, uh, you know, the uh, ugly shapes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the game, I played, yeah, this clam, so yeah, the shape looks relatively better. But I didn't expect here, black actually tried very hard. So black played this kick, turn here, and he doesn't care about to get my shape, yeah, to be relatively stronger. But he, he, yeah, he insists on capturing that E14 stone, so to increase territory, so to gradually catch up. Yeah, this is something I didn't really expect. But once again here, top left corner, white is, not, uh, white is still not very much in danger. And now he gave me another move. So, and uh, earlier, yeah, right, I played at L5, he didn't really answer. So here I just yeah, kept my attacking to, yeah, to his center group. Now it come to the second fight. Yeah, so in the game, yeah, 
After I try to seal him in, he played this attachment. As you can see, he is still aiming at the full stone there. That is his shot of liberty. And this is the moment actually he expects at the moment when he decides to play that O13 to take out my liberty. Yeah, so I now be here. I'm watching out on uh, yeah, on those four stones liberty situation. Well, I'm still stealing him in. And next, he played the cable. And uh, yeah, still, yes, just uh, let's say here, we know that actually here, white is actually holding the advantage. White doesn't have to kill black, but white needs to make sure his own group is on. So, yeah, well, yeah, here I play the honey to actually maintain the connection. Yeah, between the center and the four stones. And uh, when he not be there, I checked out this situation. I told myself, I really didn't see there's any reason I cannot push and cut. So in the game, I did it. So I played the push and cut. And uh, this actually result to a uh, super complication. And uh, once again, just uh, similar to earlier that uh, IL5 decision, this is probably not something if I look at if I look at the, the board situation now. If I can choose again, I wouldn't have to have chosen this way. Because yeah, you can yeah, you're gonna see this way is very risky. Before if we if we just, just talk about the center, yes, what is in a big advantage? Question is what the top left corner group is not alive yet. And in the game, black card here and the push. So start attacking that group. And if white can capture the center, but if top left corner group is dead, clearly white top left is bigger, right? Yeah, I guess this is something you can see. Yeah, so actually here, this is, a, uh, this is actually a very dangerous matter. Yeah. All right, so here I noticed the danger and I read a little bit. So here, I have to honey here, so to help that group. And the black knobby here. I need to push here. This is also to take away his liberty to help my dad group. But then the consequence is he honey here. I need to answer this one and then he cut. Yeah, starting from this moment, yeah, let's say I, yeah, I guess uh, probably too many of you, what is in crisis, right? <laughs> I, to be honest, if I'm honest, the moment when black cut, I also feel like what is in crisis. And uh, Actually, I was disappointed at this moment because I feel like, okay, I had a very good, very good start. I'm going to win it, but very likely here, yeah, after he cut, well, if I cannot really find out a solution, then basically I just throw away a one game again. Yeah, I had a one game earlier and I didn't get that, that one. This one, I didn't like, get it either. I was disappointed. But then, once again, I had some advantage on time. Yeah, this is... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, can you hear me now? I hope it works fine now. Ah, okay, good. All right, okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you don't mind, then I'm gonna continue. All right, so uh, yeah, luckily here, time is on my side. <laughs> yeah, Tse can only play one move inside 30 seconds and I don't have a time limit. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is a second, yeah, this is a second moment in this game. I took really long to read. The, the earlier, that move, I know that I took over five minutes. This one is definitely longer. I lost the counting though. I don't know how long, but I read for very long here. And then I believe I read it correctly. So in the game, I made a very painful decision. That is this cut, Atari and Atari Black Knight. Well, I'm saying this is a very painful decision. It's mainly for here, if we talk about points. We all want to actually honey from here. So we all want to actually honey from here. So to reduce black left territory on the left side. And then, yeah, what it has to do, yeah, those, yeah, that sacrifice Atari here. That means, uh, as you can see, easily, F9 is black center. So left side is all, all solid on the sixth line territory. So yeah, those exchange what well, I actually lost some territory. But as my reading, that is the only way I can do. And after that, what well, can only connect here. 
Still looks tender, right? <laughs> Is that still tender to you? <laughs> still tender, yeah. And uh, I remember this game, I have showed one of my local students. My local student basically said, Jeff, you say you read it? Really? <laughs> I'm gonna not be here to me, I'll steal that. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, this is something I read, otherwise uh, I dare not do, yeah, I dare not do exactly, yeah, I dare not do exactly this. Or maybe I would have, I would have read that just, but here I read it. And uh, yeah, so here we can see, you can see this empty triangle. Yeah, this empty triangle, white already has one eye on top left corner, no matter what. And here I'm asking, can I get another eye at 8.40? And here, luckily, let's say earlier in my reading, let's say I have considered he might play this move. You can see this move is uh, <laughs> probably should say evil. Can you see what the, he, uh, he played this move, what he's aiming at? Uh, you can see my move is nice move. I call this move a nice move. Luckily, this, this nice move, I have read it, let's say, already earlier. The four stones, how? Yeah, so for example, if, yeah, earlier I have mentioned, can I just make another eye now? If I make another eye, what is the consequence? So for example, here, yeah, by just a decent. How? Yeah, I know that he is going to surround my group. I want to remind, however, on the right side, black only has two liberties. Can you see the move? Connecting M9. Well, that's a bit too simple, right? If you just connect M9, what just connect here? You dummy, you can count white has four liberties and the black on the red side is still two liberties. I'm searching. Where's I'm searching? Bamboo here. Well, okay. I hope you notice on the top left of the corner, white is already aligned. Either white is decent here, then the, yeah, that corner is straightforward. Or yeah, if white can get a B, then there's a second eye. So we can forget about top top left of the corner. Top left corner, white is white is already alive. Here the question is, what what black can get in the center? Black must get something. Relatively big in the center, otherwise black will lose. Okay, good. Yes, someone has. Some of you have mentioned it is a eleven. Yeah, so it is a wedge, and like this, the yeah, one is immediately disaster. Basically, if this happens, the only thing one can do is actually to capture the right side, and uh, let yeah let black. Can capture the center four like this. Then this attacking white has completely failed. White was attacking black. Not only black has saved himself, but also yeah, white force two is captured. And we also need to consider earlier to save the dragon. White has paid points on the left side. If like this, it can easily be black is leading the game now. Yeah, if this happens, but white really cannot do anything else because here if white push from here, this is easy to read. Black Atari, connect, it's all that, right? And if white Atari from the other side, black wouldn't easily let, let white go. Black will gonna block from here, takes the call. And uh, this call is not a call white, yeah, yeah white, white can possibly be, where can white possibly find a call threat? So if white loses the code, then it's all that again. So there's nothing white can do if black match. So here, let's say black plays this move is Sene and white must answer and white cannot answer and connect. So to ensure, all right, so here, white is all connected. The liberty is enough to actually capture the red side, no problem. But now, of course, black is gonna take the eye. 
And uh, uh, yeah, here, luckily, this is a variation I've written already. So uh, honey, black bamboo. Okay, and uh, yeah, we are actually coming to an end of this game and this lecture already. Can anyone see a move? I have read and I found out in my reading, but Z has missed. You find that move? Why? Well, yeah, the body is good. You cannot find that move. What is that? Ah, uncertain. Uh, I have to say, N13 is not right because I can find, uh, let's say, why, well, uh, yeah, let's say, an uh, error on N13. So, no, not N13. Yeah, it's a slightly complicated reading. I have to say here because all the moves have been played at this moment. Uh, this is a this is a still a problem, but this is a relatively easy problem already. Uh, yeah, the harder one is, yeah, I will show you where is my start of the radio. That is hard. Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, let's say for the, yeah, consider we have limited time, I'm going to show them, all right? So in the game, while the play this attachment, the body is already connected. And the first I show the game, uh, in the game, yeah, black tiger, white connect, two threads, a snapback, and the black need to answer this one. And the white connect. So white top left corner is connected with the top like this. So white is all safe, right? I guess you probably have some question on what if black cut this one, right? I guess this, this is the question. <laughs> okay, if black cut this one, white cannot be hurry. Okay, white need to be very patient and uh, just watch here. Yeah, don't don't touch those yeah those two keystones for now. And here at this moment, black we're gonna attack this one. White run. If not black push, white throw in. Atari capture. Okay, this is clear. And if after the Atari, black choose this double Atari, which looks dangerous to white. Now white push. So you can see here, white may choose to push, white may choose to throw in, and white will gonna wait until black makes, makes the choice. Then white make his own choice. So black connect here. Yeah, white block here, capture, target, capture. Sorry, one moment. Uh, what if black, I'm 13 and I'm 12. Uh, I was thirteen. Ah, uh, this one, huh? Well, this one will be actually similar because here, if white, um, if white jump, yeah, still it is it is this spot. You may say you put here, you cut white off. When you try to save yourself, it's match. Atari connect. Capture, yeah, you can see it's similar. Cut a K15 instead. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a very good question. This is something I didn't expect. Okay, well, but this is still not very difficult, right? Okay, so I'm sorry. So in this push, I got your honey. And if what just the answer here, I guess you have to cut, right? Enough, you honey.
Is this clear? Not easy, <laughs> definitely not easy. And uh, yeah, he's asking a very good question. Yes, well, I just didn't, didn't expect because uh, uh, I didn't expect, let's say, black me actually. Yeah, because I'm sorry, because this move looks ugly, so I didn't really expect. <laughs> yeah, okay, but yeah, so here, let's say, uh, yeah, here it looks like we are white very much in danger. But here, yeah, because, yeah, let's say, in my reading, it is why, yeah, black will gonna play, uh, play the, this bamboo shape, and I have this move, so to see myself. And uh, once again, you can see this is actually a long reading. How long it is? This is a long reading I need to read starting from this cut, or let's say before I make the decision to cut. Yeah, otherwise, let's say, basically, I have to choose another plan instead. Yeah, let's say, so here, uh, yeah, that is why here, about this lecture, uh, let's say, uh, this game, I want to actually emphasize, let's say, the importance of reading. Yeah, let's say, if we, as human, we ever have any chance to beat what? Our own, yeah, the, the only possible field we might still be in yeah, unwanted, that is reading. And so we have to read, read into it in order to, that's it, in, in order to find out, okay, here, we can still get the bot. But it's not easy. Let's say gradually both are also getting stronger in reading, so on. Um, yeah, let's say, uh, yeah, this game I played against them uh, with his time limit only 30 seconds per move. If I have given him 120 seconds, I guess he can also read out what I have read. Mm. Well, yeah, you let's say Sumiko is one way, but you know, I, I just want to answer. Yeah, many people have actually asked how to actually make you, yeah, make my, yeah, make myself a better reader, yeah, to improve on reading. And many people say Sumiko. Sumiko is a way, but the best reading, normally I want to emphasize, exists in your own game. So it can, it can be, you, you may say, in my own game, it's so peaceful, I didn't see anything. Well, there can easily be some, yeah, let's say some, some moment in your game, you actually have a different thought. Or maybe, let's say, for example, after the game, when you do the self-review, you ask yourself some what if, which, may, which didn't really happen in your game. But what if, those, uh, those are actually the best swimming you can find. And it is from your own game, because you have thought about it more or less already. And try to read it. Yeah, so actually about this game, mainly what I want to tell is the importance of reading. I know that reading is not so interesting. And uh, some, some pros actually showed, okay, they have read this far. And maybe here in this game, I have read, I read this far and say, whoa, okay, it's amazing. Okay, I, I, I don't think I can make it. I want to emphasize on this. <laughs> those pros, let's say those top pros, they are also human. If I can do it, you can do it too. It's just treat yourself strictly. Set yourself a goal. I, yeah, eventually I want to read that far and then keep doing it, keep working on it. One day I expect to play against you in an even game. So please try hard, okay? All right, okay, that's basically everything I want to tell about this game. And also, okay, yeah, we are well in time for this lecture. Okay, thanks for your yeah, concentration on my yeah, on my this on my this game, and I'm looking forward to actually talk to you again in the near future. Thank you.